Well, this is about my third time of having mail call. First was uh, Walsh Farms with uh, a bottle of uh, sugar cane. Second was uh, Matthew with the hats. I hope I get this right. And now today we're getting something from IP. And uh, I just want to say thank you, buddy. And I read your card. And I, you, yeah, you, you're invited. You can come. But he, he sent me a sticker. IP Farms Incorporated, estimated in 1979. That sounds like a deal. That was the year I graduated from high school. Whoa, boy, that was a long time ago. I had a head full of hair, body full of muscle. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, I just want to thank uh, Cousin Nelson for, for thinking about me and sending it to me. It was a surprise. And uh, I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you, buddy. And until... Uh, Derek, we said, hey, bye. Okay, we're in the short rows. We have the chains on. Going to re-oil them and re-grease everything. I've got the hoses off the cylinders. They're laying right there. They're nine or 10 foot. I'm gonna have to find them or have them made. I don't know yet. Due to situations that are somewhat my fault and tardiness, these are not gonna be used. Even though I did find the uh, fertilizer Oh my God, I need a brain back um, apparatus. I'll probably be taking these off and just running the planters behind the 2510. I'm sorry if anybody was hoping to see the fertilizer that go, and I was too, but it's time to get this stuff in the ground and I'm kind of hoping we've got some good chances this coming week of some rain because uh, we're powder dry. Got a fertilizer spread on these two fields and the fields in the back. I wanted to disc it in, but like I say, it's just so dry. I didn't want to keep flipping the soil around and moisture disappearing. So I hope maybe the fertilizer will... Most of it, if I remember from my younger days, it's will hang around. I think nitrogen though, might, sun might leach it a little bit. I'm, I'm not 100% sure. It's been so, like I say, it's been a while. But there it is, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Horo, John Deere, 71 Flexa Planter with short hoppers within 75 to 80% ready to go. I just thought you'd give you a heads up. I do appreciate each and every one of y'all who have subscribed, those who are watching the videos and commenting all the way to the I mean, watching the videos all the way to the end and commenting. I enjoy it. Please give me some time to comment back. I'm not as fast as I used to be. And uh, my, my cousin and I, we just thank y'all that you enjoy our channels. And I appreciate all y'all who went to visit with those whom I had put up as a post to see if you'd like them or not. And I thank you if you subscribed and it's okay if you didn't. That's the beautiful thing about at this time in America, you do have a choice. You can choose. I don't know how much longer that'll last, but I'm hoping and praying that it will last longer than we, we hope so. I'm not gonna get into politics. I've had enough of it. But anyway, to all who watch my channel, whether you're subscribed or not, thank you. I appreciate each and every one of you folks. I appreciate the over a thousand mark and we're hitting, I don't even know where we was at. I am somewhat humbled and appreciative that all y'all could take the time out of your day to watch something like this of two old people trying to farm. <laughs> <clears throat> you know, the, 
those crazy desires that us over 50, you know, what is it? Uh, over 40 thing. Of course, I always loved farming. That was a passion. It just wasn't happening for me in my younger days because of the economy and so, some of it was my fault. You know, some mismanagement or misunderstanding. Yeah, you, we all understand. Plus, I was a little guy, and the big guys were getting bigger, and they were, you know, really going wild about renting land. And it's got to a point where you'd be better off fishing than farming. Some of you will actually understand that. But I, I don't have no hate or animosity for anyone in that. You were just trying to survive. I mean, I've survived for the last 30 something years working for them, so I can't complain. A whole lot rather be here, though. Harmon's real. It's a gamble, yeah, but it's fun. And it's the independence, the freedom, get hop up on a tractor and go to work. I mean, we would thought 100 years ago, they wouldn't have hopping up on a tractor, it was a walking behind a mule or a horse or whatever they used at that time. I mean, I look at these guys that, you know, 10 big acres and they've got all this modern machinery and I mean, you just think in less than a hundred years from some tractor with a brake, two brakes and a clutch and a motor to almost can drive itself. That's, that's pretty wild. I mean, I was watching uh, the grumpy farmer, and he didn't have no self-steering mechanism, but he had a, like a, I think it was a eight-row Kinsey planter. And other than the rocks, he was sailing pretty good, smoothly. He was sitting inside a cab with air conditioning. His wife was across the hill picking up rocks, and she was sitting in air conditioning. And then when she was out there on the track again, she was in air conditioning. I mean, that's... Office cubicle, I reckon. Farming our office cubicle. Okay, guess what? I'll just sit here and just yaddle, yaddle, yaddle. It's a beautiful Sunday. Gotta go back to work tomorrow. Bleh. Again, I thank each and every one of you. Appreciate your support here at this channel. And all supporting others that I have mentioned. I appreciate that really. May God bless each and every one of you. And believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved. These are true words that's in the Bible and I believe it. And I want you to too. I want us all to fellowship in heaven one day and enjoy talking. Have a great and beautiful day, gentlemen and ladies. Bye.